believers always aspire for the highest. You always aspire for the highest. And the problem is that, you know, any situation, we wait for somebody else to resolve the situation. Somebody else is going to help and assist. Must, the masjid are in a, in a state of total dysfunction. It's not our duty, it's somebody else's duty. People are dying to death in the Muslim world or in the non-Muslims. It's not our duty, it's somebody else's duty. How Umar ibn Khattab is not going to come today. Abu Bakr al-Siddiq is not going to come. Aisha and Khadija are not going to come today. If there are any heroes, you people have to become the heroes of Islam. You have to learn about your deen. And then you have to translate those act, those knowledge into actions. The problem is that we don't translate, we talk. You know, how often do you see brothers? They're talking for hours about the decadence of the Muslim Ummah. Come Fajr Salah, you can't wake up for the Fajr Salah. You can't wake up for the Fajr Salah. You can't change yourself. And you're talking about changing the world. You know, there is something which is withholding the help of Allah. And I'll tell you what it is. It is my and your actions. It is my and your actions. Because we have to be people of character. People should see our character. How often do you see people who have a good character and they start practicing and now they don't want to give anybody salam anymore. The Prophet wasallam said, none of you can enter into Jannah until he believes. And none of you can be a believer until he loves his Muslim brother. And shall I tell you a way of increasing that love? Give each other salam. Love your Muslim brother. But for us, everything divides us. The smallest thing divides us. We can always find something to divide us. You know, you come from, you come from Africa, you come from the Middle East, we come from the subcontinent, and if that's not good enough, you come from Bangladesh, I come from Pakistan, and if that's not good enough, then we go closer. You come from Sarhad, I come from Karachi, and if that's not good enough, then you belong to the Jat Bradri, you belong to this family, I belong to this family. You can always find things to divide us. You come from Somalia, I come from Pakistan, I come from Gujarat. You can always find things to divide you. But why don't we speak about those things which unite us? And what is that? It's La ilaha illallah. That's what unites us.